What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and today, we're here with another uh, Roger Showcase video for Grand Party, because, uh, you know, look, if you're gonna play Grand Party, you're gonna be using the most optimal teams possible to secure those victories, and that's exactly what we're doing today. Um, so this is day three, so this is, uh, at this point in time, once you secure this amount of wins, you start to encounter opposing squads that hide their team and this is where things start to get a little bit risky in terms of who you are opting to fight against uh, and I believe starting tomorrow as well with day four that is the day where the there's gonna be like no more revives so you do have to be very cautious moving into day four but anyways as for the matchups that we have here for you today we're here with match one and actually specifically uh, with, uh, with with match one and two, we actually do go down to the wire in terms of running all three matches, which is kind of interesting. Uh, I ended up losing this first matchup that you're seeing right here, which is the side team versus the quick team. Now, in my head, I felt pretty confident taking this in. You know, obviously, Wano Law can debuff a majority of the opposing squad, but uh, obviously it was not a good choice uh, due to the fact that uh, you know, Driven receiving all of those buffs, Akainu obviously doing a, a lot of damage to me, and Legend Smoothie is is a very, very annoying character to come up, come up against, because not only does she actually do pretty decent damage, but the ability to special reverse some of your characters really hurts, honestly. Uh, looking back at it, I really would love to have Kuzan on this team, potentially just changing the team up, so Rebecca Toy Soldiers on the bench, and then removing all the rest of my bench, and then having Kuzan on the main line, just to ensure that I can have more damage output against the opponent, might actually be a decent option. But the interesting thing here is we're actually up against an Uta leader, and you don't really see Uta that often, but she's an interesting leader that I haven't really had a chance to explore that much yet. The GP burst is super interesting, where you can use it after 25 Five seconds have passed and that's it right so you only have to wait 25 seconds and then you can launch it straight away now the effect that it gives you it's fine like it gives an attack buff a defense buff it can it can special charge your characters it's it's kind of interesting but obviously when you get access to roger like why would you just not use roger right it just it is what it is uh, roger is just in incredibly powerful very potent and Honestly, it's a bit of a problem right now in Grand Party because if you run, if you want to run it optimally, you're just going to use Roger, right? <laughs> He's just so good. But another thing I wanted to talk about was the fact that I feel like the side team just isn't as reliable anymore. Like we've seen over the past few months, like all of these colors receiving somewhat buffs, specifically quick. Dex obviously receiving a lot of buffs, Int receiving buffs, um, you don't really see too many buffs given to Strength, but with all of the characters that Strength get access to that can do damage through defense, I feel like they're like walking a very fine line in terms of buffing Strength units. But Psy have these really strong characters, right, with Yamato and Odin, and these units are very, very disgusting to come up against because you can just get RNG'd out of it, and Odin and Yamato can go absolutely crazy. So I can understand they want to be very careful in terms of which characters they're giving buffs in Pirate Rumble. And of course, we want to actually give buffs to classes too because the classes are still nowhere near as good as what we have with the typings. But we're moving to the second match here, and uh, this is part of the reason why I wanted to take on this one in general, was due to the fact that we see that this second team, like, it doesn't seem too scary, and we're running a pretty strong-looking slasher team, and obviously we have our Roger Burst, so I feel pretty confident in using that to allow us to get the victory here. Um, and obviously, uh, you know, Luffy Crew on a Free Spirit team is going to be another thing to worry about, because if he launches his special first, we take a lot of damage, which is one thing I was thinking about. Like, usually I would really wait to use my Roger Burst right before I, I'm able to launch a special. But there's a couple of things here. They were getting ready to launch their specials. I'm really happy I did launch it when I did because you obviously Luffy crew putting all of those characters to the top. They were all launching their specials against me. And without the hub stats, I would have lost this game 100% of the time. Uh, but another thing as well is that they have their uh, they have their burst ready as well, so they could have used that to buff their stats even further. Luckily, they didn't opt to use that, but you see that we are taking a lot of damage, and you see that Kdad actually got knocked out before being able to launch a special. So I was getting a little bit worried at this point, but at this point here, you see that they've already launched all their specials, and now it's my turn to start doing some damage output to them. We see that Luffy Crew got the revival ready, but now we can use Cracker to completely get rid of Luffy Crew, so we don't have to worry about him. 
They do have Otama though, and Otama, if she sticks around to heal the crew, that could be a problem. But Odin getting really good targets on his special, so it just leaves only a couple of characters left, and we can just go ahead and uh, sweep up the victory from there. Kobe being the last character alive, and we can secure it. And then we get to the last team, which is going to be a Dex Mirror match. And I feel relatively confident going into Dex Mirror matches. We've talked about it before in the previous couple of days of Grand Party, but due to the fact of uh, Brooke and, uh, and Blackbeard, of course, giving help health cuts and heals as long as we can survive and as long as we can knock out a character it's going to be very good and especially when you're in this type of situation here where it is late in in the grand party you know when i'm talking about it's like uh you know it's the second or third game of the match when you have a roger burst uh, you just shouldn't be losing this at all especially if you use the roger burst and then you can have your doflamingo do absolutely crazy crazy damage towards the opposing teams uh, you should be able to secure victory pretty comfortably from there so i'll leave you guys with the rest of this battle and we'll pick things up with battle number two So now we move into match number two. Now this was one of these ones where we also actually had to go down to the third game. But during this time, I was looking at the game and I was like, okay, I see a strength team. I know that Quick can pretty comfortably take on a strength team. And I didn't really know what the last team was as the last team was hidden at this point. So I felt comfortable in using the Dex team to take on the final team just to, you know, because I feel like it's the most reliable team to use. Despite the fact that Dex doesn't actually receive any buffs at all from Roger. Um, as a GP leader, but I opted to use the quick team versus strength because that felt comfortable and then the dex team to go up against the unknown team But then I thought well, I, I, I could use a side team So we'll just see how side goes versus end and with the current rule set and how things are, are currently planned if you're Going up against you know an int driven team with with Uta as the GP leader and most teams are just not going to be able to beat this just not during this season if you see Uta lead with with an int driven team it just seems like a bad time and I probably would advise to avoid that at all costs unless if you are purposefully you know going for one of those teams that just has a complete whiff you know use this as like as a as a you know a complete spacer of a, of a match just to secure your GP leader for the match two and three which is what I opted to do here. I knew that for sure that I wasn't going to win this one. We're going to pass it. And then we obviously have match number two, which is going to be the quick team versus the strength team. So my ideology is, is I don't really want to use my Roger burst at all. I feel pretty confident in the quick team being able to secure victory versus strength. So if I'm able to keep the GP leader for the final game and then potentially, you know, if, if things get down to the wire, I'll have potentially two GP bursts of Roger you know, a dex team with two GP burst, I feel confident that that should be able to take out most teams in the game. So, we do see that this is a very scary looking strength team though. The fact that they have King and uh, and, and uh, Kid on the front line. So, it's a very, very scary team. And obviously, Uta does boost driven characters. So, uh, if you've got driven characters on the team like Kid is, he's going to be uh, definitely a big problem. But we are using Sugar, which can debuff strength significantly. Like, their CT is super, super low right now. And then Sugar gives us CT increase. And we've obviously got the Tezora to give us CT increase. And then Kaido and Akainu have their own CT increases as well. Like, it's just... It gets pretty wild at the end of the day. So, uh, we're able to kill them very comfortably here. And, like, this team just does wonders. And, you know, if obviously if characters get knocked out, Groggy Monsters, Whitebeard, and Senor Pink in the late game are going to be huge sweepers that we can have to uh, help us win the game as well. So, we pick up a victory here versus the Strength team. And then it leads us with, once again, 
the Dex team versus the unknown. We don't even know what it is at this point. So you guys are going to see exactly what that is. But uh, yeah, the quick team is kind of cool in this season due to the fact that there's so many driven characters. And you see that in this team example that we've got Tezoro, we have Kaido, Akainu, Sugar, Shiryu. They're all driven, so they all receive the buffs that are in this season, which is kind of nice. But uh, you do see that they did use the Uta skill here, which is nice for us, as uh, we don't have to worry about it for the final game. And I just skip it here because there's just no reason to sit around and wait for it to finish. We can move on into the final game, which is our Dex team versus the Unknown team, which at this point we find out is going to be the Psy team, I guess. You don't have to be Einstein to really figure that out. I believe Uta does boost Psy characters. I could be wrong there, but the Psy is what shows up here. Now... I was a little concerned at first, uh, obviously we've got a couple of driven characters on the team which Law can debuff their CT, so that is going to hurt us a little bit, but we do have Roger's skill, and because the Dex team is very slow at launching their skills just generically, and obviously they've got Wano Law and they've got lower CTs in general compared to us, I was just viewing the opponent's team waiting for the right time to actually use the Roger burst. I wasn't really too concerned from Rebecca and Toy Soldier, but I was mainly waiting for Yamato and Odin. So we use the GP skill here to halve their stats so that if they start launching specials against us, we can kind of mitigate some of the damage that we would normally take. And of course, if it does get down to the wire where, you know, we're in the late game and we're taking too much damage, we could potentially get Roger's burst skill again. So with halved stats, you can see that we're doing really good damage against them. And I don't know what it is. It just feels like that the uh, the side team doesn't have a lot of bulk right now so even though the dex team isn't the great offensively they can actually still do really good damage especially when you have half stats applied see the kid special here does a lot of damage to the opponent and here is the odin special was really hoping that we don't get too harshly punished from the action bind and he only really targets the luffy so i'm not really too concerned about that doflamingo getting a complete wave clear here and then we get the brook heal straight after it so at this point here eight versus three I don't think that there's any way that we're going to lose this one. I'll leave you guys with this clip and we'll pick things up with match number three. <laughs> Okay, so we're into the final match now. So this is match three, and uh, we are going up against an Int Uta leader once again. But this one here, you can see that there's a quick team first, there's going to be a Psy team, and then the Int team at the bottom. So obviously, I feel comfortable using my Dex team versus the opponent's quick team, and that's exactly what we do. And what you expect happens is exactly what happens. We're able to secure victory very comfortably. Interesting that you see that the Doflamingo on the bench. Now, I, I think it, it got to a point in time where I was actually considering using the GP burst uh, against this but at the same time it's like you know I might as well just keep the GP burst for uh, the you know for, for the match after this right it's the more safer thing to do especially because I am opting to use a slasher team versus the opponent's side team so yeah using the GP burst in this game really wouldn't make a lot of sense but it actually like this this quick team that the opponent has it does decent stuff to us and obviously Doflamingo on the bench is kind of fascinating I think um, there was another one that I was contemplating going up against while I was trying to find an opponent and I saw one that I was going to challenge and I believe it was also using the Int Uta as a leader and they had a dex team and it looked really good it didn't look that convincing but the first character on their bench was Pirate Rumble Rare Recruit King so going up against the dex mirror match but then they have Rumble Rare Recruit King come in after the first character is knocked out it seemed a little too risky for me to go up against. So I think that that might actually be a really good way to uh, at least have a good defensive GP team. A Dex team with uh, with Rumble King on the bench definitely could be an issue. That Rumble King is just absurdly powerful. Such a strong unit. Honestly, might have been a bit of a mistake. And obviously, they kind of mitigate that character's abilities by having such high CT. But, I mean, if you can make him work, he is just an absolute monster. And arguably has the best damage potential just about out of any unit in Rumble in general. Like, it's just, it's so wild how good that character is. 
Anyways, uh, speaking more about this match, here we go, Doflamingo. It's past 60 seconds now, so he gets a couple of hits in, which is fantastic. I believe he gets hits in after 60 seconds, 40 seconds, 30 seconds, I think. So once, uh, once you see the 60 second timer go, he gets the double hit. And I believe it's 40 seconds for the second hit. Uh, for the third hit, sorry, and then four hits after 30 seconds. So he actually gets, uh, he's really, really good in the late game, as most people already know. And by this time, you can see that I do have the Roger Burst. It is an 8v6, so he actually still has a lot of characters left. Uh, you see Luffy go, and he only targets Doflamingo, which is kind of annoying, because he has such he has a, a wide variety of characters here that have low HP. Uh, Fuji, I'm not too concerned about. It does add additional bulk, but he does have poor Chemi and Blue Jam both on his side of the field. Those characters are super annoying to deal with. The fixed damage coming in from Tizor. So you see, I'm running with like pretty low HP. I don't think I've actually triggered the Luffy revive yet, so I'm, I guess that's kind of nice at least. But I, I have a feeling that, you know, like right here, I was really concerned from this Dofi, but we do tank it reasonably well. Luffy and Brook get knocked out. It's an eight, it's a 6v3 right now. Dofi does really good damage here and uh, basically secures the victory for us at this point. So I was very close to using it, but it wouldn't have made a lot of sense considering I did have, you know, Donchin Jao to come in just to secure it for us. And even if timer ran out here, we still get the victory. So now we move on to the final game here of the video, which is going to be my slasher team versus Sai. And we do have the Roger Burst, which was fully charged from that first match. So I felt pretty confident moving into this game. And of course, you know, it's pretty typical stuff. We're just going to be viewing the opponent's team, seeing right before they attack or right before we attack to launch that Roger Burst so that we can do as much damage as possible. And unfortunately, last time we used the Slasher team in the first match of this video, we got a little bit unlucky in terms of the way that things went, but we actually get, uh, we get a little bit better RNG here. This is a very uh, weird team you're seeing as well. But you see the Uta skill come out, which is really annoying because it would be nice to use the Roger skill before using that, but it is what it is. But you see that Ace is on their team. So Ace is a bit of a weird choice. He does only buff shooters. Um, if, if that Ace was replaced with uh, with Wano Law and then, you know, the Rumble Law obviously replaced with something else, this would have been a much more difficult matchup, I believe. But you see here that the uh, Rebecca Toy Soldier does reduce our defense quite significantly and we are ready to launch that skill. So it's a 78 second timer right now. So once we get to 58 seconds, the half stats will dissipate. So here we go with the Kinemon Denjiro uh, KDAD special, should we say, which uh, actually secures a knockout, gets some defense down. Cracker, really good damage coming in from him. He surprised me a lot. Normally I like to run Kizaru on these teams, but... I think that having the Doflamingo for additional bulk and the fact that Dofi, he does more damage to, to guarantee damage to two, to, to two targets is is really nice. And of course, you can't run a slasher team without Roger Whitebeard. It's just basically two guaranteed knockouts, which is so good. And it's an AV1 and we can secure it from here. I'll leave you guys with the rest of this clip as we uh, do our legend ticket pull that we get from a reward. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with day four of Grand Party Season 6. Yeah, I'm